Hello, this is Max Teabag, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make text that only shows for the player who pressed it. So in multiplayer, you know how one press one guy presses the button and it shows for everybody. We're gonna make it so when that guy presses the button, it will only show to him. And this is uh, this is how we're going to go about this is going to use something called player slots and we can use the variables to set to set a variable to a player slot okay and we're also going to look at player initiator and what that means so what is a slot exactly so you know how in, in gunshot maps the first player who joins the game is the god and we can determine which slot the player is by the order of the players we um, um, make in the in the game. Or if if there's several maps or several teams, it will all auto distribute. So let's say we have a let's just a, a multi um, uh, let's see. Uh, Let's make this uh, map for a uh, co-op, and then we have a blue proxy and the red proxy. So this will be the first player who joins the game, and this will be slot zero, and this will be slot one, basically. So let, let's let's go about this. So I have a trigger here that uh, a button here that actually this trigger, and what I'm going to do is scroll down until I find uh, let's see huh here we go set value of variable a to player initiator slot now what is a player initiator the player initiator is the the player who um, directly activated this region so there is up there is no tr uh, player initiator by uh, triggers that be become activated by timer or something it is only activated by um, a button or a, like a region that activates the player or something like that so that is basically who activated this trigger and we can set the value of the variable to um, uh, presser presser slot by the lack of a better word and then I s let's see if I can find this current player current player This is kind of a problem with uh, with so many triggers. There we go. Set value of variable A to slot of current player. Now what is the current player? The current player is you. That is, a that is like who you are playing as. Not the player initiator, but for who you are in that game so let's say this guy presses the button but you are playing as him that will be the current player you are the current player okay that is you just to get, make that absolutely clear so we're gonna set you I'm gonna actually call this for local local slots so this is like who you are on the local screen and that's it so now we have now we have to compare these two we have to check if um, if these are the same so what we're going to do is we can say uh, to continue trigger execution only if variable a is equals to variable b now remember how we talked about in previous tutorials that we can compare numbers that are variables, but we can also compare um, text. Well, hold on. We can. These are 
um, these are numbers anyway but just so you know that we can compare text as well so only if these two are equal so we say presser slot and local slot and so if these two are equal that means that the person who played pressed the button is you and if that's you we will show you the text so we will show you the text and show text you pressed the button now I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna get a friend who can help me demonstrate this map okay so I got a random guest joined but that doesn't matter so let's see if we can press the button so apparently he's now pressing the button but I'm not showing anything do you see text <laughs> Let, let's hope he's hot let's hope he's honest <sighs> yes okay he shows like but I didn't see it now let's see if I can press the button you press the button, you press the button. Do you see my text? You see text when I press. Do you see text when I press? Yes. Okay, thank you. Wait, what? He, he, um, <laughs> um, no. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, um, he doesn't mean that. He lied. I think he just misunderstood the question because, uh, <laughs> that guy was just a random guest to join my game. But I hope you, um, realized or, uh, saw that, um, when he pressed the button, uh, I didn't see it. And he probably misunderstood the question. But he's not supposed to see uh, the text when I press the button. So I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next tutorial.